anyways. Um, So, all right, I'm going to say this again, <laughs> because I don't know what part of it was or wasn't heard, but I was so rudely interrupted by the cat knocking my damn headphones off. Um, so, so, as I read these, the redactions in information that is not available, or it just doesn't give it to me so I can't read it. This is your redacted sound. As I read it, you'll understand. Item number. SCP-300. Object class. Safe. SCP-300 is stored in a locked and climate-controlled container at site. Experimentation on SCP-300 may only be performed with prior written permission from at least one Level 3 senior researcher, and any observations made must be recorded for later analysis. Description SCP-300 consists of an SCP-300-1 containing approximately 2.4 cc's of an unidentified colorless liquid, SCP-300-2. Yes. When a single drop When a single drop of SCP-300-2 is extracted from SCP-300-1 and the drop is viewed through a standard optical microscope, an, anim an animated scene becomes visible. With 0 to with no to two drops have shown precisely the same scene. When no two drops have shown precisely the same scene, these scenes generally take the form of a pastoral or woodland scenes consistent with that of, so far, attempts to analyze the exact chemical composition of SCP-300-2 have inexplicably failed, with spectrometers reporting wildly variant or false data, thus making attempts at replicating it impossible. SCP-300-2 also invariably evaporates within of being drawn outside of SCP-300-1, despite all attempts at stabilizing the substance or controlling laboratory conditions, SCP-300 was first documented along with after being recovered from the attic of a row of eh, a row home in on 1863, following a raid by agents of the Royal Society for the Security, Containment, and Protection of Anomalous Artifacts, SCP-300 was transferred to the SCP Foundation possession on 19... Mm -hmm. 
SCP-300 was first documented along with redacted after being recovered from the attic of a row home and redacted, redacted, redacted. Why did this not do the same thing? I don't know. Antique perfume bottle. Senior researcher. Victorian era. England. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Freaky deaky. What is that exactly? The two to eight hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't know where it goes, but why do you think so loud in my ear. <laughs> Sweet. This may actually be one of the ones that I'm going to do my uh, my YouTube video on. I'm just not exactly sure what it is. Mm -hmm. Description. All right, hold on. One second. No, I need to type in some stuff. Yeah, okay. my redaction. You get some base levels out of it. <laughs> Item number SCP-090. Object class. Oh, you don't want to give me object class, do you? <laughs> I have my own abilities. Find it. All right. Whoa, this is interesting. Anyways. Oh, here you go. It's actually a, a tab. <coughs> Object class. Keter. Oh, you took my SCP. Anywho. Special containment procedures. Artifact is to be held in a secure bunker in the in the facility at site. Of course, you're going to do that anyway. At site and constantly monitored by approved Class D personnel. The object's new arrangement is to be imaged every time it shifts. New arrangements are fed into the facility's class OT supercomputer. Division chief is to be notified of all changes in current estimates every half hour. No personnel is to touch SCP-090 except under... It looks like a social security number. <laughs> But it's uh, redaction dash redaction dash redaction. AXA security level has been created for monitoring SCP-090. Non-AXA personnel found in the facility will be terminated. Description. 090 was located and retrieved in... Oh, look, more. Why is this doing this? I don't like it. Oh, shooby doo. Shooby doo, shooby doo, yes. Get down. Go. Hey, there you go. And not that one. Not that one. No, you fucko. What? Huh. What? There is a camera. It's right there. 
Anywho. Turn all webcams on. Okay, there's already one, but you're gonna be a jackass if I can do it no matter what you do. Anyways, fine. Have it my way or your way or somebody's. I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, SCP was located in retreat in on April tenth, nineteen. Prior to retrieval, SCP-090 had been located in a chamber at the nearby cathedral. SCP-090 was then removed by the cathedral. The cathedral was burned, and the six monks at and the priest were terminated. SCP-090 has been located at site since the retrieval. Object's initial location prior to the cathedral is unrecorded. SCP-090 is a black cubic structure, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, made of an unknown ceramic material. Object is classified and it is indestructible. Is made of it, 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 it. The object is classified as indestructible. Following tests outlined in document 090B, unattached, each side is divided into 10,000 individual squares in arrangements similar to a Rubik's Cube. 100 segments per edge, each segment 2 millimeters wide. Each square has part of a design etched into the surface. Etchings glow white. An unknown internal structure causes the realignment of a single row or column, roughly every 2.8 seconds. Vague records of the object's alignment have been kept since 1242 C. E, but those kept before 1533 CE have been lost. Modern technology has allowed the exact alignments to be imaged and recorded as well as studied. Segments are divided by a thin white line unless they are aligned correctly with the square directly adjacent to them. There are 22 correct alignments on the object's surface currently. C25.090.090 D unattached for complete current object alignment. D-023016-02 Zero two four zero one six dash zero two four zero one five is currently the only alignment of three adjacent segments on the surface of SCP zero nine zero B dash one zero 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 two three dash one zero 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 two four dash zero nine nine zero two four dash zero nine eight zero two four and c dash zero four three zero seven seven dash zero four two zero seven seven dash zero four two zero seven six dash zero four two zero seven five and our four segment alignments there are also six segment alignment c document Experiment 0012. Observation is going well. We have managed to develop a system and found errors in the firm, the firmly known, but we will make note of it. Our designated regarding the of alignment. Experiment 01. To predict events, not cause them. First side designated as global. Up 
upgrade to Euclid status. Requested. Experiments. 0240. We stepped up our experiments today by attempting to modify the cube itself. When D-Class personnel attempted to make a shift, SCP-090 immediately created a 10-segment alignment of its own accord near the top left corner of the local side. Exactly two hours later, SCP broke containment and data expunged. Agent and were also lost during the incident. Recommended forced shift testing of SCP-090 postponed. Upgrade to Keter status approved as SCP-090 is obviously capable of causing events of its own accord. Objects may be sentient. Experiment Conclusion 0193.1 The combination of different alignment patterns on its body can cause disastrous effects of differing scales. It is presumed that full, com full completion of the item will result in a, cat a, a catastrophe of an unprecedented scale. SCP-090 appears to possess the ability to actively change alignment patterns at will in order to cause destruction. Item number SCP-898 Object Class Again, unknown because it doesn't tell me. So I will find out for you. Because since it doesn't tell me, it uh, doesn't mean you guys don't deserve to know. So... 898... Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-898, information pertaining to the creation and application of SCP-898 is restricted to Foundation personnel with level three clearance or higher. Experimentation with SCP-898 may only be conducted with the approval of a majority of the Overseer Council. Description SCP-898 is a mimetic disorder specifically caused by Foundation researchers for the purpose of serving as a defense mechanism against its development was undertaken as a part of Operation Azure Skies in 1992. The objective of Azure Skies was to design and employ a variety of devices to protect Foundation personnel in the field from supernatural threats and conventional technologies were not sufficient to guard against. SCP-898 specifically was created over the course of three years of study and experimentation, taking information from analysis of already known mimetic SCPs to drive 
a Gestalt Research and Development Program. The SCP-898 project was overseen by Dr. Grinko during its run until its official cancellation on December 22nd, 1995. The conclusion Dr. Granko and his subordinates reached was that to that end, Granko proposed that a simple biologically motivated catalyst might be the solution. According to the theory he developed, when a subject's mind that had already been infected by SCP-898 detected a potential mimetic invasion, SCP-898 would automatically stimulate the subject's sympathetic ganglion to flood the subject's system with adrenaline and provoke a fight-or-flight response. The subject would then dismiss the invading meme in the process of either initiating an attack or in fleeing from the meme's effective range. The method for detecting invading memes revolved around tracking sudden changes in the subject's limbic system. A common trend Brinko and his team had observed among mimetic viruses known to the Foundation was that nearly all of them stimulated an unusually high amount of activity in the orbital frontal cortex and so SCP-898 was designed to activate in response to this stimulation. Or, if the subject became consciously aware of a mimetic would frequently start orbitofrontal cortex activity as well. 